In today's video, we're visiting one of Krabby's most famous beaches, Raleigh, and we're getting there on a long tail. It Dude. was enormous. What was enormous? The monkey, it just ran off the tree. It was a monkey. But how did you miss it? It was about Oh, he's there, he's there, he's there, he's there, he's up there. No matter when you come here, you can still have an amazing time, and we're determined to do so, even though it is super windy, the clouds are here. We're in a sandstorm. We actually are, this is... We literally are. Shall we get into the video? Yes. We are starting our final day here in Krabi with breakfast at the Anana Ecological Resort. Breakfast has been pretty good. I've had a omelette and some yogurt, which has been delicious. Very excited for today though. Can we get? And we've made it to Ao Nang Beach, which is where we're going to pick up some tickets from the long tail ticket office to head over to Raleigh, which is very exciting because it is, of course, the highlight of Krabi. It's quite the task trying to get up with those waves. It definitely looks like it is starting to run out with the weather. The Not storm fun. is coming. The storm, don't say that. Don't <laughs> oh my God, I know. The water's green again. The water's so beautiful over this side. Oh. It's gone emerald again. So nice. Okay, this is the tricky part. Oh, no, it's no, the no. departing. Honestly, this gives me such anxiety. I know. I'd be better just to jump. We've not got the steps out today, so I think oh, we are shit. practically okay. jumping. It's not too deep. No, <laughs> it's not deep at no, all. I was waiting for a big plot, but it didn't happen. Yeah, definitely don't wear things that you don't mind getting wet, especially when getting on the boat and off the boat. And so this is West Raleigh, which is Krabby's best beach. It is actually only reachable by long tail boat and there are a few hotel resorts in the background around here on East Raleigh and West Raleigh. Now East Raleigh isn't quite as nice. West Raleigh, which is this one, is the prettier of the two beaches, but unfortunately the sun isn't out right now. But you know, it is still pretty. It's still definitely very tight. Still really like, warm. Like yeah, it's really warm. You can still see the turquoise water. Ah, oh, it is green. It's so green. Especially when the sun comes out, it does look really, really nice and it does come through a little bit. Lots of cafes and little restaurants on the water here, so you can definitely spend the day, put your towels down. Yeah, there's a lot to do here. Are we in Egypt? Oh my God. We're in a sandstorm. So I think we've come to Raleigh on the windiest day of the entire year. Yeah. We've got sand blowing all over our faces, but we are determined to have a good time here. Are we? I don't think it'll be that hard. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be that hard with this incredible view. The rocks just coming straight out of the water. I love it. I actually think it's like a scene from Avatar. That's what it is here. Unreal. Really, really beautiful. Just seeing entire life happen as it does. It's like tropical vibes here, tropical isn't it? Tropical vibes. Major tropical Major. vibes here. I don't care if it's stormy. I'm just too tempted to feel the water <laughs> at Raleigh. Oh, we're in. It's actually super warm as well. It's so warm. It's so warm. How nice is that? Wash my hair last night. <laughs> yeah. No point washing your hair. No, no. Just come Don't to Raleigh. <laughs> It will rush it for you. You know when I travel, I give you guys advice, generally for the usual traveller and for the blokes out there. But this time, I've got a guest, of course, my girlfriend, who's going to give you some uh, travel tips for the ladies. Fire away. Oh no, this isn't a five minute thing. This is a whole video in itself. episode because mm -hmm. what you tell me I need is absolutely not what I need. Okay, just give me a quick fire thing, the things that women need. Go. Uh, many, many, many bikinis, hair masks good shampoo, lots of travel size things to take out in the day. Yeah. What else? Anything else? I'll get back to you. You'll many, get back to many, us. Many, many, many things. Let me know if Jenny needs a YouTube channel. Link in the video description if by this time she's got one. But let me know in the comments. Now Krabi is the land of many rocks and also Raleigh is known for some of the best rock climbing in the entire world. And that right there, you can climb and it is very, very safe. So if you, you know, love your rock climbing, you can get a lot of that over here. You just got to inquire. What's the time for? What are we getting? Smoothie. We need a smoothie. Need a little pick me up. I reckon we go for the pink spot. Yeah. Pink one. Is that because you want a nice Insta picture? because you want the nice Insta picture. Absolutely not. It is. 
Yeah, you can't go wrong with the smoothies out here. I love the dragon fruit as well. Dragon fruit just thickens it up a bit. I love it. With a great view. Cannot go wrong. This is the spot. West Raleigh. Find the pink cafe. Sit yourselves down. Great smoothies. It's raining. No, yeah. don't say that. Because we need to get to Pranang Cave, which is the other hot spot in Raleigh. And I'm noticing on this little street here that you take to get on the beach, there's actually a lot of pretty cool places, like nice restaurants. This looks like a quite a vibe as well. Oh my God, look, it's me. Bob when Marley, I've, when you've Bob, been in the water. When I've been in the ocean, that's literally me. Good old Bob. Like tatty head. This is actually really cool. I'm liking Raleigh a lot. Yeah, this is sick. Seems to be a lot of cool bars around here, like Rasta bars. It's like mushrooms. What's, everywhere. Yeah, like magic mushrooms everywhere. as well. I don't know if that stuff's legal here, but I don't know. I don't do that I stuff. There's definitely a lot of weed bars as well. The um, guy on the boat yesterday told us that. About yeah, weed bars? Here, yeah. Oh, it's completely legal here in Thailand, yeah. So there's a lot of places selling weed. There's also a lot of places selling mushrooms, mushroom shakes. I feel like I'm in Amsterdam, quite literally. <laughs> I'm definitely feeling like having walked down here, I understand why people stay here for a night or two in yeah, Raleigh. Yeah, yeah. It definitely seems like it would be so cool to just spend the Such night, come out for a drink, have some food here in an evening. It is definitely a vibe. There's some like really cool like rooftops as well, yeah. like little roof terraces. It Dude. was enormous. What was enormous? The monkey, it just ran off the tree. It was a monkey. But how did you miss it? It was about Oh, he's there, he's there, he's there, he's there, he's up there. Look at him. Oh, we've seen our first monkey. So what are the monkeys that we've just seen, babe? What kind are they? Something I can't pronounce. Dusky leaf monkeys. Dusky oh, he's leaf. jumping from tree to tree. That is so cool. This is your first monkey you've ever seen? Yeah. Honestly, in real life? Yeah, I've seen one in a zoo. In a zoo, but yeah, but not in their monkey. natural habitat. No. This is so fun. There's so many that just jumping from tree to tree. That's so cool. And so this is uh, East Raleigh Beach. Not much of a beach. I like it because it's quiet. It's quiet. It's it is quiet. It's still pretty. Yeah, it is pretty. I um, think most people would opt for, to stay on the west, so this would be more... Probably cheaper. Cheaper and more relaxing, I would say. You yeah. Actually around the corner in two minutes. Yeah. So. so this is the route that you've got to take to get to Pranang Cave, which of course is one of the most famous highlights here in Raleigh. Definitely a sight from this walk though, with these massive cliffs as well. It's pretty sick with all the long tail boats as well. Like if that's your resort, and that's your view. I don't think that's anything to complain no, about. Fair enough, no. fair enough. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. I love these cliffs though. And here we are at Pranang Cave, which honestly is unreal. You definitely feel like you found like this hidden sort of hidden space, gem, even yeah. though there are so many people around here, so many travelers. And to be honest, it's not a surprise why. It is one of the highlights here in Raleigh and you've got to add it to your itinerary if you come. You've just got to make that walk through East Raleigh Beach and make the way around. Over my face. Over my face, because my hand just loves hitting Jenny's it face. It does. I mean, look up. This it is, makes yeah. You feel this big. It does. It is. We're tiny right now. I know. So I think this is why they call it the secret cave because Thais don't only have an obsession with very beautiful beaches and beautiful places, but also penises. This is known as the penis cave. It's odd. Odd. It's I don't, I'm not sure I get it. I Do you get it? No. It just looks like a giant lipstick. Ugh. We do have to go because we need to catch our taxi transfer to our next hotel in Koh Lanta. It's a shame to go though, isn't it? Yeah. I would like to spend a little bit longer. It is very, very busy here with lots and lots of tourists, as you can see. But it would be very nice to just come here for a few more hours and just yeah. lay by the beach and just taking it all in. He's so from here, what else can we see? Chicken Run. We can see Chicken Run, Chicken Island, which is where we went on a video excursion through last week's video, yes. if you want to watch that. Click really on that good. card up there. So we're back to East Raleigh Beach, but our tickets that we bought from Aonang Pier, Aonang Beach, over to West Raleigh is a return. So we've got these blue tickets and we need to ask someone if they'll take us back to Aonang Beach with this. These tickets to Aonang? Okay, so definitely. These tickets only valid West Raleigh. And we're in a rush. Yet again. 
That's a shock. That's a big shock, especially coming from me, you know, where I'm always on time. I don't think we're going to make it in time for this transfer. We've got to get all the way back to the resort. We're on Anang Beach we go. So it is 2.56 and our shuttle takes us back to the hotel from Anang Beach at 5 past 3. Oh, I don't think we're going to make it, babe. Bye-bye. So because the waves were so choppy over to Aonang Beach, they've actually dropped us off at a completely different place. We're not on the main beach. We've been dropped off at a different spot, a little bit further down on the other side. Well, I guess that was the end of the rush because there's absolutely no way we're getting that shuttle. And we're looking for our grab driver to get back to the Anana Resort, ready for our transfer over to Koh Lanta. You coming? In her own time. This is us. This is a cool car. Ooh, cool bus. Hello. Hello. Oh. Thank you. And here comes our driver. Okay. How you doing? You okay? Okay. You excited for the next place? Yes. And off we go to the Rawi Warin Resort in Koh Lanta, which is for the next part of our trip, an island just off the coast of Krabi, really excited. You can drive over there, you can get a ferry, but we're opting for the taxi service, taxi transfer to the hotel. Very comfortable. Very comfortable uh, cab, very impressed yeah. with this. Nice, three hours, see you then. So we have not eaten since breakfast and I can highly suggest if you are traveling around all over the place like we are, just bring some snack bars with you. They will be of so much use throughout your travels. What have we got? We got naked bars. Blueberry naked bars. Oh. What else have we got? Some mm -hmm. graze bars. Some graze bars, all sorts. Just nip into a 7-Eleven, which are everywhere. And we have arrived to Koh Lanta after a two and a half hour journey. It was actually really pretty, but we actually had to go from our car onto a boat and then we traveled actually onto the island of Koh Lanta. And wow, look at this hotel. This is a beautiful view that you get from the lobby out onto the ocean. You can see, oh, it's so, so beautiful. Wow, I'm not gonna lie, that is unreal i'm so happy with that oh, that is yeah. unreal yeah. isn't it that is so stunning so so pretty and the fact that you've got all these like gardens here yeah i love it it's so so nice koh lanta really is like the relaxing island there's not a huge huge amount to do other than just hiring a scooter just going to the beaches and just admiring the beauty i just really hope the weather clears up and it goes sunny but let's check into the hotel. On we go. All right. So we're just taking a golf caddy over to our room and taking a tour of this incredible hotel. I love how at nature, in nature it feels even. I love that lake in the center. And in we go. And what is this, babe? Lucky this is a our villa. Sunset Villa. Yes. Wow. Oh, That is so beautiful. We've got our own little swimming pool and a view, of course, of the ocean and the sea. This is so, this is so pretty. Beautiful. I, I love, love this. We've got our own little villa room there. We've got an outdoor area here. This is so cool, is so isn't it? Nice. How nice is this? So nice. I hope this like translates onto video. It's it will, it absolutely will. Let's give these guys a room tour. So we've got the bedroom, oh, wow. which oh my is God, really it's nice. Huge. The bathroom, bathtub, shower, big oh, spacious crazy. mirror, I love this. And if you thought that was it, you'd be wrong because we also have our very own <laughs> living room as well. I love this. So we can sit. I'm gonna sit here and read my book. Oh, you can read your book. And I love this view over the ocean. That is just unreal to me. 
Like, even when it's stormy, like right now. There's something like so romantic about it, even though it's like. <sighs> I know. And off we go to dinner. Let's go. To dinner? Yes. Yeah, to dinner. Okay. Hey, sweetie. You ready for food? Yeah. Ready to eat? I'm very excited for dinner this evening because I'm starving. We've not had any lunch and we checked into a new hotel and this looks stunning up here. Yours actually comes. Oh my gosh. In an actual in coconut. A coconut. <laughs> yes. That's, That's so fun. Thank, Thank you so you. much. We've just got some starters that have come. We've just had two cocktails as well coming straight from a coconut and I'm having so much fun here. It's really quiet, but it's a beautiful, beautiful place. I've got to say the restaurant is lovely. I love the decor inside here. The staff have been really attentive. Oh, the food here is so, so good. There's peppercorn and seafood. The rice and the sauce is just, oh, unreal. Your chicken. So nice. Oh. My mouth's on fire, but it's so nice. <laughs> oh, unbelievable, that chicken. Oh, what a perfect introduction to Koh Lanta. What a perfect day all in, to be honest. I think this is probably where I'm going to wrap up today's video. What do you think? What a shame. But there's going to be another one next week. So if you want to watch that, hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell notification button to get notified for the weekly uploads and next week's video. If you want to watch more from me though, there's playlists right here and other videos right here. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed it. But as always, see you in the next one.